I think I'm gonna buy me some new clothes. We'll be shopping at the finest stores in town. The creation of the 1976 TV series, What's Happening, was no simple task, especially when it came to casting the right actors for the roles. Producers and directors had to consider various factors, from acting skills to chemistry between potential cast members. For the character of Raj, they found Ernest Thomas, who had already appeared in a few TV shows and movies. His experience and natural charm made him a perfect fit for the role. Thomas's audition showcased his ability to portray Raj's innocence and curiosity, capturing the essence of the character. Haywood Nelson, who played Dwayne, was discovered during a nationwide talent search. He stood out because of his unique comedic timing and ability to connect with the audience. Nelson's chemistry with Thomas was undeniable, making them a strong foundation for the show. Danielle Spencer, who played Dee, was only 12 years old when she was cast. She had no prior acting experience, but her energy and spunk caught the attention of the casting directors. Spencer's audition revealed her potential, and she quickly became an essential part of the cast. Fred Berry, who played Rerun, was already a well-known dancer and had made appearances on other TV shows. His charisma and larger-than-life personality made him an ideal candidate for the role. Barry's audition solidified his place in the cast as he brought humor and excitement to the character of Rerun. The casting process for What's Happening required patience and a keen eye for talent. Each actor's unique qualities and abilities contributed to the show's success, making it a beloved classic. The chemistry between the cast members was palpable, and their combined talents brought the characters to life in a way that resonated with audiences. Really, Stevie Wonder's second cousin. Yeah, and my first cousin is Richard Pryor. The director of What's Happening, Harry Weiner, brought a unique vision to this classic TV series. Weiner, with a background in documentaries, approached the show with a sense of realism and authenticity. He aimed to capture the lives of African-American teenagers in a way that felt genuine and relatable. To achieve this, Weiner drew inspiration from his own experiences growing up in a diverse neighborhood. He also looked to the works of filmmakers like John Cassavetes and Martin Scorsese, who were known for their naturalistic style and character-driven stories. Weiner's approach was collaborative, working closely with the cast and crew to bring the story to life. He encouraged the actors to improvise and bring their own ideas to the table. This led to a more dynamic and spontaneous feel to the show. One notable example of this was the casting of the three main characters, played by Ernest Thomas, Haywood Nelson, and Fred Berry. Weiner wanted actors who could bring a sense of authenticity to their roles, and he found it in these three talented performers. Weiner's direction also extended to the show's visual style. He favored a documentary-style approach, using handheld cameras and natural lighting to create a sense of intimacy and immediacy. This gave the show a distinctive look that set it apart from other sitcoms of the time. In addition, Weiner was mindful of the social context of the show. He wanted to address issues that were relevant to the lives of African-American teenagers, such as racism, poverty, and education. By tackling these issues in a thoughtful and nuanced way, Weiner helped to make what's happening a groundbreaking show for its time. Overall, Harry Weiner's directorial vision for what's happening was one of realism, collaboration, and social relevance. His approach helped to create a show that resonated with audiences and left a lasting impact on television history. What's Happening, a classic 70s TV series, still holds a special place in many hearts. Do you have a cherished memory associated with this show? Maybe you laughed along with Raj, Rerun, and Dwayne, or maybe you related to their coming-of-age stories. There are many fascinating facts about this series that you might not know. For instance, the characters Raj and Rerun were originally intended to be one-time guest stars. However, their popularity led to them becoming main characters. The show also tackles serious issues such as racism, poverty, and gang violence, making it more than just a comedy. Sadly, the series ended abruptly after its third season due to a dispute between the producers and the network. Stay tuned for more surprising and heartwarming facts about this beloved series, and we'd love to hear your stories and personal experiences related to what's happening in the comments below. Raj, couldn't I just call the cab? <laughs> Raj is coming in after me! Save me! In the late 1970s, the TV series What's Happening brought laughter to many households. The show's set design was crucial in creating the backdrop for the characters' lives. 
The main location was the Jefferson High School, which was a fictional institution. The production team meticulously designed the school's interior, including the classroom and the hallway, to reflect the everyday life of American high school students. The exterior shots of the school were filmed at Manual Arts High School in Los Angeles. The challenge, however, was to ensure that the exterior shots matched the interior sets. The production team had to pay close attention to details like the color of the walls and the layout of the rooms to maintain continuity. The logistical challenges of filming what's happening were not limited to set design and locations. The show was known for its large cast, which included not only the main characters, but also a host of recurring characters. Coordinating the schedules of all these actors was a daunting task. The production team had to be flexible and adaptable, often rescheduling scenes at the last minute to accommodate an actor's availability. Despite these challenges, the production team of What's Happening employed innovative techniques to enhance the viewing experience. They used a multi-camera setup, which allowed them to film the show as if it were a live performance. This approach gave the show a more dynamic and lively feel, making it more engaging for the audience. In addition, the show was one of the first to use a laugh track to enhance the comedic timing. The laugh track was carefully edited to coincide with the jokes and punchlines, creating a more immersive and entertaining experience for the viewers. In conclusion, the production of What's Happening was a complex process that required careful planning, coordination, and innovation. From the set design and locations to the logistical challenges and innovative techniques, every aspect of the production was carefully crafted to create this classic TV series. They take your clothes off, and you see those nurses strap you down to the table, and you're unconscious. And when you wake up, you have to... The popular 1976 TV series, What's Happening, has left a lasting impression on audiences of all ages. This classic sitcom, created by Harry Wong and Eric Monte, follows the lives of three African-American teenagers growing up in the inner city of Los Angeles. The show's main characters include Raj, a quick-witted and intelligent high school student, Dwayne, a lovable goofball with a heart of gold, and Rerun, a laid-back and food-loving character who often finds himself in humorous situations. The trio's friendship and adventures are at the heart of the show, providing a relatable and entertaining viewing experience. What's Happening was praised for its realistic portrayal of urban life and its positive representation of African-American characters. The show's creators drew inspiration from their own experiences growing up in the inner city, resulting in authentic and engaging storylines. The series also featured a talented cast of actors, including Ernest Thomas as Raj, Haywood Nelson as Dwayne, and Fred Berry as Rerun. These actors brought the characters to life, making them feel like real people that audiences could root for and relate to. What's Happening aired for a total of 65 episodes over two seasons, leaving a lasting impact on television and popular culture. The show's catchphrases, memorable characters, and engaging storylines have made it a beloved classic that continues to be watched and enjoyed today. In conclusion, What's Happening is a classic sitcom that offers a realistic, and entertaining portrayal of urban life and friendship. Its talented cast, engaging storylines, and positive representation of African-American characters have made it a beloved classic that continues to resonate with audiences today. That makes sense. Then why didn't you think of it, entrepreneur? In the 1976 TV series, What's Happening? Music played a crucial role in enhancing the narrative and emotional tone. The show's score and soundtrack were carefully crafted to resonate with its young, urban audience. The series' musical compositions were often upbeat and lively, reflecting the carefree spirit of the show's main characters. The theme song, Do It Anyway, became a hit in its own right, encapsulating the show's positive message in a catchy, memorable tune. Composer Robert Prince, who worked on the series, once said, We wanted the music to feel authentic, to reflect the lives and experiences of the characters. To achieve this, Prince and his team drew inspiration from a variety of sources, including R&B, soul, and funk. The soundtrack also featured popular songs of the time, further enhancing the show's connection to its audience. These songs were carefully selected to complement the narrative and emotional tone of each episode. For instance, a romantic scene might be set to a slow, soulful ballad, while a party scene might feature a lively disco track. Musicians involved in the series also spoke about the importance of the music. Drummer James Gatson, who played on several episodes, said, The music wasn't just background noise. 
It was a character in its own right, helping to tell the story and convey the emotions of the scene. In this classic, the music and narrative were intricately intertwined, creating a rich, immersive viewing experience. The show's score and soundtrack not only complemented the narrative and emotional tone, but also stood as a testament to the power of music and storytelling. Debate could be a problem, especially during a debate. <laughs> we felt that too, baby. In the second season of What's Happening, Mabel King, who played the role of Mama, became more involved in the production and requested changes to her character and others. However, when her suggestions were not taken into account, she decided to leave the show at the end of the season, a decision encouraged by the producers. Reflecting on the situation, Saul Turtletop later admitted that not considering her input was a mistake and that they should have found a way to keep her on the show. Daniel Spencer, who played the role of D. Thomas, was involved in a serious car accident in 1977 while riding with her stepfather. Tim Lieutenant Pelt tragically died in the collision while trying to shield Spencer. The accident left Spencer in a coma for a few days and caused injuries that required her character's hairstyle to be changed to cover her forehead scars. Years later, the accident also led to a spinal condition and difficulty walking, requiring surgery and physical therapy. In 2018, she had emergency brain surgery to correct a hematoma, another result of the accident. Originally, Mabel King was set to play the role of Shirley the waitress at the local hangout, Rob's place. However, when she was moved over to the mama role, Shirley Hemphill was hired to replace her as Shirley. This change in casting led to the iconic character that fans of the show came to know and love. Him and my dad wasn't perfect, but at least he came out here to help us and he did his best. He was too tough, Earl. So maybe... One of the most iconic scenes in What's Happening is undoubtedly the episode where Roger gets his big break as a radio DJ. The character, played by Fred Berry, had always dreamed of being a radio personality, and this episode sees him finally achieving his goal. The scene is set in the radio station where Roger is about to go on air for the first time. The camera work is exceptional, with close-ups of Roger's face showing his excitement and nervousness. The lighting is also noteworthy, with a warm glow that adds to the sense of anticipation. Fred Berry's performance in this scene is outstanding. He captures Roger's enthusiasm and anxiety perfectly, delivering his lines with a perfect mix of confidence and vulnerability. The other actors in the scene, including Daniel Spencer and Haywood Nelson, also deliver solid performances, reacting to Roger's success with a mix of joy and envy. According to the show's director, Jaron Keith, the scene was a challenge to film due to the limited space in the radio studio. However, he was pleased with the final result, praising Barry's performance and the cinematography. The impact of this scene on the audience is significant. It is a classic example of the American Dream narrative with Roger achieving his goal through hard work and determination. It is also a heartwarming moment that showcases the support and camaraderie of the main characters. The scene has also had a lasting impact on popular culture. The image of Roger with his headphones and microphone has become iconic, and the episode is often cited as one of the best in the series. In an interview, Fred Berry reflected on the scene, saying, It was a dream come true for Roger, and for me too. I had always wanted to be a radio DJ, and to play that character and live that moment was just amazing. Overall, the scene is a testament to the power of perseverance and the importance of following one's dreams. It is a memorable moment in what's happening that continues to resonate with audiences today. My body you're talking about, but you don't care because you don't care about humans. In the classic TV series, What's Happening? Haywood Nelson's character, Dwayne, is known for his drumming skills. This talent is showcased in the final episode of the original series, where Dwayne performs at a neighborhood benefit show. Off-screen, Nelson once shared that he was in a relationship with Debbie Morgan, who played the recurring role of Diane. However, Nelson admitted that he wasn't mature enough to commit to their relationship at the time. Another interesting detail about the show is that Ernest Thomas, who played Raj, wore non-prescription glasses for his role. This choice added to the authenticity of his character, making him even more relatable to the audience. These behind-the-scenes facts add depth to the beloved characters of what's happening, making the show even more enjoyable for its fans. Oh, well, let me give you a hint. Theater. Uh, theater, theater. Wait, theater. Oh, I know it. What's Happening, a 1976 TV series, left a significant cultural and social impact. The show resonated with audiences due to its realistic portrayal of urban adolescent life, tackling issues such as peer pressure, bullying, and financial struggles. 
By featuring a predominantly African-American cast, it brought diversity to television screens, contributing to a more inclusive pop culture landscape. This classic sitcom also influenced fashion trends, with its characters sporting popular 70s styles like bell-bottom pants and platform shoes. Moreover, the show's catchphrases, like hey, hey, and kiss my grits, became part of everyday vernacular. The series contributed to discussions on relevant social themes, such as the importance of education and the challenges faced by single mothers. It depicted its characters as resourceful and resilient, inspiring viewers to overcome their own obstacles. In essence, what's happening reflected the spirit of the 1970s while addressing universal issues that remain relevant today. Its impact on television and popular culture continues to be felt, making it a significant milestone in the evolution of American television. By normalizing representation and addressing real-life challenges, this show left an indelible mark on its audience and the entertainment industry as a whole. Kid, he would never do anything like that. I don't care if you're the principal of Yale University. In the late 1970s, a groundbreaking TV series called What's Happening made its mark. This show featured a boy band named Bubblin' Brown Sugar, who gained popularity by performing on one of the episodes. Interestingly, Bubblin' Brown Sugar was originally an off-Broadway show, showcasing both black and white performers for a predominantly black audience. The show's producers generously allowed a spin-off group of kids, not part of the original cast, to use their songs and perform across the country. What's happening? As a sitcom about black teenagers was a trailblazer, and remains one of the few shows of its kind to reach the Nielsen Top 30 in the ratings. Mabel King, who played Mabel Thomas on the show, also starred in two major 1970s releases, The Wiz and The Jerk. Her success off-screen further highlighted the impact of what's happening. This classic series not only provided entertainment, but also paved the way for future shows featuring black teenagers, leaving a lasting impression on television history. No, no, just, just forget it. Just take your son and his friends home. But next time, next time I'm gonna have to call the police. In 1976, the TV series What's Happening made its debut, garnering considerable critical acclaim and audience appreciation. The show, which revolved around the lives of three African-American teenagers living in Los Angeles, resonated with viewers due to its realistic portrayal of adolescent experiences and relatable characters. The New York Times hailed the series as refreshingly free of stereotypes and cliches, praising its authentic and humorous take on the lives of urban teenagers. The Los Angeles Times echoed this sentiment, lauding the show's warmth, wit, and wisdom. Audiences embraced the series, with many praising its positive representation of African-American youth and its ability to tackle serious issues while maintaining a lighthearted tone. The show's catchy theme song and memorable characters, such as Raj, Dwayne, and Rerun, also contributed to its popularity. What's Happening received several award nominations, including two Primetime Emmy Award nominations for Outstanding Directing for a Comedy Series and Outstanding Film Sound Mixing. Although the show did not win any awards, these nominations underscored the industry's recognition of its quality and impact. The accolades and positive reception of what's happening were significant for those involved in the show. The series provided a platform for its talented cast and crew to showcase their skills and contribute to the evolving landscape of television. Moreover, the show's success demonstrated the potential for diverse representation in media, paving the way for future productions featuring underrepresented communities. In summary, what's happening? was a groundbreaking TV series that captured the hearts of audiences and critics alike. Its positive reception and award nominations highlighted the show's significance and impact, solidifying its place as a classic in television history. Ladies and gentlemen. Go, Dwayne, go. All right. <laughs> Thank you. In the classic TV series, What's Happening? Many of the lead actors were cast as characters bearing their own names, such as Ernest Thomas as Roger Thomas, Fred Berry as Freddie Rerun Stubbs, Shirley Hemphill as Shirley Wilson, and Haywood Nelson as Dwayne Nelson. Even Danielle Spencer's character, Dee, shares the initial of her real name, Dee Mabel King, who played the role of Mabel Thomas, consistently wore a distinctive, large gold quadrilateral medallion throughout the show, which was part of her personal collection and remained a signature accessory of hers until her passing in 1999. Interestingly, Thomas Rasalala, who played the role of Raj, was only a decade older than Ernest Thomas, who portrayed his on-screen son, Roger. Oh, no, no, that's all right, Roger, but as I told you on the phone, I don't have much time. Uh, 
During the filming of What's Happening, in 1976, the young cast, consisting of Ernest Thomas, Haywood Nelson, and Fred Berry, quickly formed a close bond off-screen. They would often spend time together, exploring Los Angeles, and even attending Lakers games. Their camaraderie was infectious, and contributed to the authentic feel of their on-screen friendship. The show's creator, Harry Columby, took a chance on new talent, casting real-life high school students from Los Angeles. This decision brought a fresh and genuine energy to the series, as the actors could easily relate to their characters' experiences. Fred Berry, who played the charismatic rerun, was known for his distinctive dance moves. In one episode, Berry showcased his impressive backflip, which he had learned from his days as a high school athlete. The stunt caused a brief panic on set when Barry accidentally landed on a cameraman, but thankfully, no one was seriously injured. Behind the scenes, the show also tackled serious issues. In one episode, Raj's sister was cast to play a character who was a victim of domestic violence. The storyline was a departure from the show's usual lighthearted tone, and the cast and crew approached the subject matter with sensitivity and care. The actress's powerful performance left a lasting impression on everyone involved in the production. The iconic catchphrase, hey, 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 was initially ad-libbed by Fred Berry during rehearsals. The producers loved it so much that they incorporated it into the show, and it quickly became Rerun's signature line. In conclusion, the making of What's Happening was filled with memorable moments, both on and off screen. The cast's genuine friendship, the incorporation of real-life experiences, and the show's willingness to tackle serious issues all contributed to the enduring popularity of this classic television series. From the bottom of my heart. You're welcome. Now, how about... In the second season of What's Happening, actors Fred Berry and Ernest Thomas walked off the show, demanding better pay and working conditions. Their efforts paid off and their demands were met. However, during the third season, Barry and Thomas convinced co-star Haywood Nelson to join them in another walkout, asking for more money. Despite the show's success, ranking 29th in the 1978-79 season, ABC decided to cancel it rather than negotiate with the actors. Interestingly, Rerun and Dee are the only characters in the show whose names differ from the actors playing them. In an early draft of the script, the character that became Rerun was initially written as a skinny white kid. This classic sitcom, set in the late 1970s, provided a unique perspective on the lives of three African-American teenagers growing up in Los Angeles. Despite the challenges faced during its production, What's Happening remains a beloved and memorable television show. You put this here money, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Say this now. Uh, you... What's Happening, the 1976 TV series, holds a significant place in film history as it was one of the first to realistically depict the lives of African-American teenagers in an urban setting. This classic sitcom, with its relatable characters and engaging stories, resonated with audiences and paved the way for future filmmaking. The show's impact can be seen in numerous subsequent works. For instance, the popular 1990s series The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air was inspired by What's Happening, its fresh and authentic portrayal of African-American youth culture. Moreover, the comedic style and episodic structure of this classic series can be traced in many modern sitcoms. What's Happening left an indelible mark on the film industry by breaking new ground and inspiring future storytellers. Its influence continues to echo in contemporary film and television, making it a true classic in the world of television. The legacy of this groundbreaking series is a testament to its enduring appeal and relevance. Arch. They love the bologna juice. <laughs> I've had enough. Many people have mistakenly believed that the TV series What's Happening shared the same set as Sanford and Son, only without the junk. However, this is not true. The shows were filmed on separate sets, both located on Central Avenue in Watts, Southern California. The show, which aired in 1976, was even spoofed in Mad Magazine, appearing as What Happened. Its star, Ernest Thomas, had a successful career, appearing in not only the original series but also its sequel, What's Happening Now. In 1985, Thomas also starred in a Coca-Cola commercial for Columbia Pictures Industries' What's Happening. Despite not sharing a set with Sanford and Son, What's Happening remains a classic in its own right, with a loyal fan base that continues to appreciate its humor and relatability. You can sit down. Oh, thank you. So you're Miss Beautiful. In the first season of What's Happening, 
the three main characters were portrayed as high school juniors, but in reality, only Haywood Nelson, who played Dwayne, was of high school age. Ernest Thomas, who played Raj, was already 27, and Fred Berry, who played Rerun, was 25. The show is set on Central Avenue in the Watts neighborhood of Southern Los Angeles, California, where the young friends navigate the challenges of adolescence. Interestingly, what's happening? Is the second Bud Yorkin produced series after he ended his partnership with Norman Lear. Yorkin's shows are known for their humor and relatable characters, and what's happening is no exception. The series follows the lives of the three friends as they face the ups and downs of high school and young adulthood. Overall, What's Happening is a classic example of a 1970s sitcom that has stood the test of time. Its relatable characters and humorous storylines continue to resonate with audiences today. Roger, I would like to talk to you about the rent. Rent, rent, rent. Little Earl, I... A legal dispute arose when Eric Monte, the creator of the TV series, sued the producers for not receiving proper credit. Monte claimed that he was promised a credit as a producer, which he did not receive. This led to an out-of-court settlement. Haywood Nelson, who played Dwayne Nelson in the show, and its spin-off, had also portrayed characters with his first or last name in other productions. He played Grady's grandson Haywood in guest appearances on Sanford and Son, and its spin-off Grady, Mabel King and Ren Woods, both cast members of the TV series, also appeared in The Jerk. Their presence in both productions created a connection between the two. In summary, legal issues, character name reuse, and cast overlap with other productions were some of the notable aspects of this classic TV series. Mama, what it is? <laughs> Bad grandma, and I'm not your mama. <laughs> in the TV series, what's happening? From 1976, Haywood Nelson, who played Dwayne Nelson, had a romantic crush on Danielle Spencer, who portrayed Dee Thomas. He also shared a flirtatious friendship with Shirley Hemphill, who played Shirley Wilson. Interestingly, before they were known as the Thomas family, the characters Mama, Raj, and Dee were initially called the Jackson family in the early shooting scripts. Tragically, both Mabel King, who played Mama, and Shirley Hemphill passed away one month apart in late 1999 due to complications related to diabetes. Their contributions to the show and their talents will always be remembered. This classic series provided a glimpse into the lives of the Thomas family and their friends, and it continues to resonate with audiences today. The show's enduring appeal is a testament to the talented cast and the timeless themes explored in the series. Without a doubt, what's happening? left a mark on television history and continues to be cherished by fans of all ages. That's better. <laughs> In the TV series, What's Happening? From 1976, the character D. Thomas gained notoriety as one of the biggest brats on television ranking number five in TV Guide's list of TV's 10 biggest brats in the 25 issue. Initially, the show went by the working title Central Avenue during the production of the first four summer series episodes. Moreover, Fred Berry, who played the role of Rerun, legally changed his middle name to match his character's name. These fascinating details offer a glimpse into the behind-the-scenes world of this classic TV show. Maybe you got a spare phone. A spare phone's impossible! <laughs> There's only one son. In What's Happening, Freddie Stubbs, played by Fred Berry, earned the nickname Rerun due to his need to repeat classes he failed each school year. The Thomas family, the show's main focus, resided on South Central Avenue, the same street as the Sanford and Son characters Fred and Lamont. Among the actors, Haywood Nelson, who portrayed Dwayne Nelson, is the only one to have appeared in every single episode. Ernest Thomas and Daniel Spencer, who played Raj and D. Thomas, respectively, share the same number of credits as Nelson. However, they are both credited for at least one episode they did not actually appear in. <laughs> well, I do. Oh! <laughs> Excuse me. In the popular 1970s TV series, What's Happening? Haywood Nelson played a significant role that led him to co-star in two spin-offs. These include What's Happening Now? and a Sanford and Son spin-off called Grady, where he acted as Whitman Mayo's grandson. Interestingly, Nelson shares his March 25th birthday with his co-stars, Ernest Thomas and Fred Berry, who were born on March 3rd and 19th, respectively. Ernest Thomas, known for his role as Raj on What's Happening, wore non-prescription glasses for his character, although he does not need them in real life. This just goes to show the dedication of actors to their craft, even if it means wearing glasses when they don't need to. In summary, the stars of What's Happening, 
had a significant impact on television, with Haywood Nelson appearing in two spin-offs and Ernest Thomas committing to his character by wearing glasses he didn't need. Additionally, it's intriguing to note that all three main actors share a birthday month, making their camaraderie on set even more special. He is the newest rocket. Well, he's not really a rocket. He's a... In the TV series, What's Happening, Roger and Dee's parents were divorced, causing some complications behind the scenes. When their father remarried in 1977 and disappeared from the show, actress Mabel King, who played their mother, became unhappy. She had hoped for the Thomas family to have a mother and father in the series, but the producers refused. King also felt her role had been reduced, which led to her departure in 1978. During the early stages of the show, the producers considered casting Gary Coleman, but ultimately denied him a part. Danielle Spencer, who played Dee, was already considered the young star of the show. Silverman then took Coleman to NBC Television, where he was cast in different strokes. For the first two seasons, Haywood Nelson, who played Dwayne, had a long commute from his home in Garden City, New York to Los Angeles to work on the series. Despite the challenges, the cast and crew of What's Happening managed to create a classic television show that is still remembered today. I had a surprise for you too. Daddy came over and invited me and Dee to his apartment for Christmas. Do you remember the 1976 TV series, What's Happening? This classic sitcom, focusing on the lives of three friends growing up in a tough neighborhood, left a lasting impact on many viewers. Did you find yourself relating to the characters and their experiences? Perhaps this show made you laugh, cry, or even reflect on your own life. We'd love to hear your stories. How did what's happening influence your perspective on cinema? Did it inspire you to explore other TV shows or movies? Or maybe it encouraged you to think more deeply about the social issues presented in the series. We invite you to share your memories and experiences related to what's happening. Your insights and perspectives are valuable to us and other readers. Let's engage in a meaningful conversation about this classic TV show. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more cinematic explorations. Together, let's celebrate the power of television and its impact on our lives. Inspector, yeah, he put one of the hamburgers in a plastic bag and then throwed it in the back of his truck and took it downtown to the lab.